In this video, I talk about a starting a uh, SciTech project to set up one SCADA system to have supervisory control and data acquisition. So, to do that, first of all, we have to start SciTech, and after starting SciTech, we're gonna get three different windows. One of them is SciTech Explorer, the other one is SciTech Graphical Builder, and the other one, the last one, is SciTech Project Editor. To start a new project or to run a current project, we need to go to SciTech Explorer. If you go to SciTech Explorer, we can see a list of projects that already are available. It is a very good practice to use this projects and learn about especially this example and learn about different examples and different templates available to make a new project anyway if you wanted to make a new project we can go to file new project and start a project so let's call it project one we can have some description here and we can select a location that you wanted to save the file then there are some other information here we can set them up then okay so project one is made make sure on top of all your windows you have project one project one project one and here project and here just the graphic builder which is linked to project one if you don't have project one here then double click on project one otherwise you are working on a wrong project so now here the first thing to do is to go to the system and describe possible roles possible roles in the company here I just wanted to have one role engineer I can have a Windows group name which is optional I can have a global privilege as well so say global privileges that we have here is one and two and three and I can provide some comments add so engineer is added I can have any other uh, more records as well so I can increase this records by clicking add but make sure you are not duplicating one record otherwise you are getting a fault so so say for example I want to add one record called operate operator so now operator with just one I click add then you can see that I am having two records so anytime I'm doing one job if I want to save that I can go to pack and pack my file okay the next level is user I need at least one user otherwise it is not going to work so so say the user is Ali Ali it's asking for full name Ali Riza password if you want you can have a password let's say just a then confirm password again a make sure you have a role for each user let's say Ali is an engineer then type and command and add now you can see that we have one record here if you click here again you're gonna have another record but that's definitely a mistake because you are having a duplicated record of Ali so after finishing this we can close this we can pack it so the next level is cluster cluster we need to describe our cluster and see that how many cluster we wanted to have if we just have one computer to run everything then we are going to have just one cluster so let's say cluster one add 
and the next level is describing servers so we should have one alarm server one report server one trend server and one io server we need to manually enter alarm server report server and train server but later on for io server we can use the wizard button so alarm server for any server i have to say that which cluster going to hold this server if i have just one server then i don't need network address other sorry if i have just one cluster i don't need network address but i if i have multiple clusters then network address is required as well because i should say that what's the address of each cluster so server name let's say the server is alarm one it can be anything else report server again cluster report one and then trend server cluster one trend one now i have these servers so i can go to pack and pack my file so the next the next stage is communication i can go to communication menu and express wizard if you click on express wizard in here next it is saying that you don't have any io server do you want to make a new io server so by default the name is io server but you can change it io server then io device we may have multiple io devices but you need at least one io device once you are describing your io server it is by default io dev but let's call it plc1 instead next then here we have to select our type of io devices we can have three different types one of them is external io device external means that for example plc is already connected and you want to use it the other one is persisted memory io devices that means that uh, uh, plc is not connected right now but you wanted to do uh, you wanted to make use of the simulation option simulation option so you are using persisted memory io devices but disk io means that this information coming for example from a file from a disk from a memory not from an external source even in future so we go for external io if you go for external io the next question going to be what is your device so if our P plc is m340 then we can click on m340 then we should answer the next question which is going to be the driver that we use for communication so for example if you use tcp ip ethernet then we can select that the next question going to be the ip address so we can enter the ip address here so say it is 192.168.1.1 for example 59 we can have port and we can decide on the protocol protocol could be tcp or udp obviously udp is faster than tcp but tcp is more accurate so tcp is more useful for automation next if we have an external database which is very very useful to so say for example you have all your variables recorded in one excel file and, and you just want to store get them here then you can link here and then you can get them browse them but if you don't have that don't use this then finish finish okay so now all good we can pack it's a good practice to compile your file in this level so if there is any error 
we can find it out and we can fix it There is no error, there is no warning. But sometimes in some version of SciTact, we are getting one warning, and the warning is that there is no tag. And that's a correct warning because we don't have any tag, we don't have any variable in this system. So, what we have to do, we have to go for tags. We have different types of tags in SciTact. We have variable tags which are external variable and another one is local variables local variables are just variables that are exist in your computer nowhere else so if you go for variable tags you can have any tag here variable name you can give it a name so for example motor cmd1 motor command one and you can see that we need to have say that which cluster going to hold this variable and which IO device now we just have one IO device and that one is PLC1 data type data type can be any of this but if it is a command definitely our data type going to be going to be digital then address okay here for address we have to make use of a mod bus address so we can't use um, IEC standard address so society so if it is a memory word obviously it is a wrong function because memory work cannot be digital so let's change this to integer if it is a memory word then for example if it is memory word 0 then our address is going to be 4 1 2 3 4 and then 1 if it is an output then it can start with 0 if it is an input and output we can follow the um, Modbus addressing for all these numbers then we have some other value such as engineering units if you want to have an engineering unit for example kilogram per second or for example degree or amps or anything else so, so say for example if this val variable dedicated for motor current then it is more reasonable to use amp in the next video I'm going to tell you how to make use of memory words to uh, set commands but now let's just use analog inputs and as I told you it is not a very good idea to make use of inputs and output in your SCADA so format you can select any format that you want for example just three numbers and then add one variable added if you want to have another variable for example we said motor current if we have another variable motor temperature we just need to write it down over there name of that variable for example 440 2 integer again the same one and we can change the unit to degree add so add it now we can pack it and then if you want to if you want to do further jobs we can go to site graphical builder here in site graphical builder we can have a new page so say the page is normal okay and in this page we can have we can have a number here and this number we can give it a tag for example motor current 